Hi, guys. Yeah, it's... Oh, I don't know what time it is. Because I... <laughs> I know. I uh, turned off the switch, the electric switch, so that the Roku which TV would shut off. What time is it? It's almost quarter after two. Quarter after two. And... Um, because our internet was slowing way down because our Wi-Fi ranger. Anyway, so I the only way I know to keep the Roku from, you know, using internet bandwidth is just to shut off the whole circuit or whatever. Anyway, there's that. Um, I'm only here for a minute. I didn't, yesterday was a day, got a bunch of stuff done. Um, today's a day. I'm doing things that don't require a lot of physical effort because yesterday I think I overdid things but um uh playing my keyboard finding music I want to record for backing um answering comments on YouTube and then after that Pete thinks it will be helpful to me he went over the book and everything for my podcasting microphone recorder thing and he thinks he also went to YouTube and he thinks it would be easier for me to remember or understand it if I watch YouTube because I've read the book and several times, in fact, and I'm just not getting it. But he thinks that'll help me. So uh, that's on plan for today. <coughs> so I didn't get dressed. <coughs> we also we also went online today and looked at uh, day trips potential day trips for this week, things we can do. Now that I'm retired and, um, you know, stuff like that. I played the keyboard quite a while and I do intend to play later again. Um, I'd record, but I have no intention of getting dressed today. <laughs> Today's my day to not make more laundry. Um, I guess I forgot, Carol. I'm glad you asked me. Um, Carol Caps, because I guess I forgot to say what happened to Chewie's toe originally. Um, he's injured it a couple times. It's his dew claw on his left front, and he's injured it a couple times in his life. Both times went to the vet. Both times just wait for it to grow out, you know, and spend a couple hundred bucks for that. So he just injured it again. Um, and so we're just letting it grow out without paying a vet to tell us it just has to grow out because it's the same thing as before it like gets broken up where it, it comes out and it just has to grow out and it's sore while it happens and we feel sorry for him and he limps and pete babies him a lot and carries him and um but he'll be okay i mean this has happened before and when he was neutered right the same time we got Maisie. those of you who are with me then will remember that um, that they, uh, I asked them if they would please remove his dew claws because they'd been, the one had been injured already a couple times. And they said for an adult dog, it's too painful and it's like a big deal. It's not like with newborns. So they didn't really want to do it while he was under already to be neutered. And so I went with it. Even though he was staying at the vet for the week because we got Maisie that week. And <coughs> as you remember, she was a, a wild animal who had absolutely no nothing, no knowledge of anything being in the house or around people or whatever. So he was not safe post-op. So he stayed at the vets that week. So it probably would have been a good time to do it anyway because they could have managed his pain while he was there better than we probably could at home anyway but we didn't i caved i said oh okay i don't want it to be too much pain blah 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 well now he's walking around since tuesday limping around so whatever but the real reason i came on here i'm looking at i'm working on comments right now stefan and kath stefan i got your note on facebook one of the things on my list to do today, since it's a not getting dressed day, was to write to you. So you, you beat me to the punch, but I'm going to write to you today, too. Um, anyway, the main reason is because Pete and I have been talking about these lots. And we've kind of been going a little bit crazy. Everything has its advantages and disadvantages. 
So what we decided to do, we are going to talk to Lem, who owns the lots, and ask him if we can lease two lots. The one to live on, and then the one in the woods on the river to relax at, where Pete can go to fish, where Casey and Bill and the kids, if they want to get away somewhere, not too far for like an overnight or a weekend, they can pitch your tent there. Um, or whatever, or if, uh, you know, our David and Trish, you know, want to get away to camp, whatever. We will just have a lot there. We will use it. They're not too far apart, but we can't decide. So we're going to ask Len if we can lease both. The, le the price for both of those lots is still less than it is to run a house, <laughs> if, we, if, if he lets us do both. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to ask him if we can. Um, I don't see why not, but you know, the other thing is we want to, on the, on the lot that we get, that's up off the main road, we, uh, we want to put up a fenced area for the dog so they can run, run around and stuff. So he'd have to get his permission since it's his lot. And if, you know, he may want us to use something that would not leave a permanent mark, which we can do too. I mean, you can get that sort of thing that we can take down whenever we're done leasing or whatever. So that's the deal. That's what I came on here to say. <coughs> it is beautiful right now outside. And um, I'll just uh, take a quick picture, and then I'll send this up up the river to to um, go online. So I hope you guys are all having a great weekend, and um, we'll talk to you later. Take care, and God bless.